Hello everyone, this is Mickey here. I hope you're all doing good and you're all keeping safe. You know what, let's keep on doing what we are doing. Let's stay at home and distance ourselves from each other. It seems to be working at the moment and I hope that with time, everything will clear up and we will all see each other safe and well. Today we are going to talk about the Mayans. But before I start this video, I want to ask you this question. Have you seen a film called Apocalypto by Mel Gibson? Not sure? Watch this. This film is sick. Have you seen it before? If not, where have you been for the last 14 years? I would say go and watch it and you will enjoy it. It's about the Mayan civilization. And after I finished watching this film, I spent some years wondering who these Mayans are. Did they really exist? And then I came to Belize and... Mayan people really exist in modern day Central America, spread across Mexico, um, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and more importantly, Belize. Mind blown. So in this video, I'm going to try and look into the history of the Mayan civilization. Um, I will give you some of the facts that I learned about the Mayans. And I'll take you with me into the jungle and you will see some of the Mayan pyramids, the Mayan ruins that has been discovered and preserved by archaeologists. But before I go on, I want to please ask you to subscribe to this channel. Um, when you subscribe to this channel, what it does for me is it gives me the ohms, it, give it gives me an audience, it gives me a reason to keep on making videos. And thank you very much for subscribing. Now, let's get into the video. The Maya civilization was a very strong culture that rose to its climax and descended to its collapse in a period of 4,000 years from 2500 BC to 1500 AD. To your left is a temple where priests and the elite would live. To your right is a typical kitchen structure and another for sleeping. This is where the general population would live. The Maya domesticated plants. Corn was the base of most of their food. They raised stingless honeybees and traded cotton, honey, flint, salt, feathers, and jade. The Maya developed their own calendar using advanced astronomy and mathematics. The ancient Maya believed that their universe consisted of three layers. The water underworld was Shibalba, the place of fright. In the middle was earth, four-sided and floating in an ancient sea as if on the back of a turtle or crocodile. On top was the heavens, where Hunabku was the supreme god with no form or face, who along with many gods took care of the people on earth. Connecting these three layers was the giant cyber tree, the sacred tree of the Maya. By 300 AD, the classic period was in full swing. This was the height of the Maya civilization and the size and number of the large temples and palaces grew. 
it is estimated that up to 2 million Maya people lived in Belize during the classic period. earlier the Mayan civilization occupied a wide territory that included southeastern Mexico and northern Central America this area included the entire Yucatan Peninsula and all of the territories now incorporated into the modern country of Guatemala and Belize as well as the western part of Honduras and El Salvador looking at the map it just reminds me that all these um, boundaries that we see, borders that we see, uh, artificial borders that were put in place by the colonial masters. Just like the borders that were put in place in Africa. I am from Ghana and we have Airways in Togo and living in Ghana as well. The Mayan people are said to be the indigenous people of Mexico and Central America who have continuously inhabited the lands comprising modern day Yucatan Quintana Roo, Campeche, Tabasco, and Chiapas in Mexico. According to the Asian History Encyclopedia, there are still approximately 6 million Mayans still living in Central America. And here are a group of Mayans performing a traditional Mayan dance in Mexico. Mayans also had a ball game that I believe is called the Pok Tapok um, and it is believed that it had a lot of strict rules and one of the rules was that players were not allowed to touch the ball with their legs and hands and head so they were using their torsos and favorably their hips it is believed that losers of this game were used as sacrifices to the gods and again it, there is a belief that only the elite only the best humans were used as sacrifices so it is believed that there were times that winners of this game were used as human sacrifices to pacify the mayan gods Talking about sacrifices, blood sacrifice was seen as one of the important customs of the Asian Mayans. It is believed that sacrifice was the ritual offering of nourishment to the gods and blood was viewed as a potent source. Sacrifices were done during droughts and plague and it is believed that high profile prisoners were sacrificed and the low profile ones were used as slaves to build the pyramids. The pyramids were the largest buildings in Mayan cities and were built as temples and royal tombs. Shrines where sacrifices were made to the gods were at the top whilst burial chambers were hidden deep inside. There are some of these pyramids that has been discovered and preserved by archaeologists all around Central America and I had the chance to go to one of them called Caracol in Belize and I'm going to take you with me into the jungle and I'll show you around some of these pyramids that has been discovered. So come with me and enjoy. During my adventure, I managed to get a lift, literally a lift, into the jungle. 